We are reverse tie dyeing. I've never done it before, but I've watched um, I've watched quite a few YouTube videos and read quite a few articles, blog posts with step by step instruction. And we're doing it in the garage because we're working with bleach. I've got a handful. These are like trial things. Let's see. I um, taken some Enswear. I have two of these, so I'm gonna keep one black and I'm gonna try and see what we can do with this one. We got our 100% hoodie that I already cropped and I love it, but for some reason I feel like it would just look way more badass if it was a little bit tie-dyed. I've got some of these tanks. We have more than a handful of these left for sale at answer.com and I was like, you know what? I was talking to my team and they're like, Brooke, we were getting photos in these. Like, Brooke, we gotta sell these. I'm like, okay. But I understand, I, I get it, you know? They're, they're super, super simple, classic, uh, not for everybody, but I feel like what might possibly do the trick is if I reverse tie dye these and they look super cool. So I've got a red one, a blue, a navy one, I think a black one, no, a green one. And we're gonna reverse tie dye them and see if we can make them way more popular. We've got three shirts in here. Colby's black tank top, I got the navy blue, olive green, and red and his black tank top is like changing colors like quick I don't see anything else changing that quick so I immediately thought like why does your shirt like when did I put when did I put like a brownish red shirt in here and I didn't that's just color coming out of Colby's tank top look at this this was black <laughs> It was black, okay? So my first thought was like, oh wait, we have, we have four different shirts in here, all different colors as the bleach is working. Is any of that color gonna like, is it gonna mess up, right? Is like somehow other colors gonna bleed into the other shirts? So this was, this the whole thing is a trial run, but this is definitely a trial run because if, if we mess this up, we'll know um, for next time and also we'll learn this lesson for all of you that are wondering, so. We've got a timer going. I'm just trying to keep them fully submerged, but I think like once they're fully saturated, they're probably okay. Okay. We're gonna finish, we're finishing them. I'm waiting for one more, but we gotta wash them, dry them, so you guys are gonna see them tomorrow. I will tell you this. They didn't turn out the way I expected. <laughs> Actually, Colby's wearing his, so we'll show you a clip of that in just a, in a, in a minute. But, as you can see, for the most part, pleasantly surprised. Um, we'll just start with the best one. This is our crop hoodie from Enswear. It was all black. And one thing we learned, which some of you may be like, oh, it's a no-brainer, I had no idea. So. The thing, like the fabrics that were higher percent cotton, or like 100% cotton, they took quick. Like they, they changed colors really fast. Other ones that had more of a, a blend took longer. And then also too, um, I, I learned that with the tank tops, for instance, the colors when we put them, when they were saturated in the bleach, it, it was almost hard to even see them changing. Like we kept looking at them, looking at them like, oh no, we should leave them in there longer. It does say like some of the, some colors take longer to change. Um, 
And then when we took them out, they actually, they everything changed for the better once we washed it and dried it. When they came out of the dryer, they all looked even better. But this one is so sick. Um, yeah, we just scrunched it up, bunch of uh, rubber bands on there. And then the bottom, it's thicker material. And then obviously down at like the wrist and the hands stayed darker. And I love that once I washed and dried it, there's more tones of the like brown and pink, I guess, that kind of came out in the black. So it's not straight black like you have up here, but I am very happy with how this turned out. Um, this was a black hoodie. Um, if you guys don't know what Built is, it's an incredible recovery beverage. Um, I had been at an, event, at an event with them. They gave me a hoodie, but it was a small. And what I find with a lot of clothing, especially like in the athletic world, they never fit my shoulders. Like it's a small is still, it's always still just too tight for the arms. So I had cut the sleeves off and cropped it in hopes that I could still like wear it for like some photos or whatever, but it still was a little bit too small. So I gave it to my niece. So this was the article of clothing that she was able to try and tie dye. It did not work very well. Um, it obviously went gray. And then there's little bits of like this sort of red color coming out. But not a winner. We kind of thought these were all a lost cause, if you don't remember. <laughs> but they turned out pretty great after washing them and drying them. And Colby's. Yep. There it is. Oh, look, come here. This is how it started, and this is how it ended. So this is the hoodie that I did. Wow. That's how it started, that's how it ended. Wow. <laughs> All right, we are, she came over, kids had soccer, they have uh, soccer tonight. We're gonna hit a little workout, and maybe try and do something outside, because it's a nice day. power cleans for some power work hips legs everything and because since we're focusing on the peaches program for a while we're just going to be sprinkling in some lifting so Olympic lifting and stuff like that so we did triples no didn't need to be touch and go work up something heavy now we cleaned up we're going to do a tri set from one of the days in the peaches program it's got 
side lunge, single leg RD, dumbbell RDLs with pulsing, and then a wall sit banded abductions for 20. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna head outside, get a little bit of sun, and do some conditioning. Active rest. So one person working at a time with the movements, one person's always on the rower. So we'll start each round, we're gonna do eight rounds, so each of us will do four rounds of this. We're gonna go 15 Russian swings into 10 box step ups with dumbbells into one round of DT with dumbbells, which is um, nine deadlifts, six hang cleans, three shoulder to overhead. And we're just gonna, as soon as you finish that, you're on the rower, rowing. While the other partner goes through it and we're gonna rotate so each of us do four rounds. 12, nine, six. That's what it is. DT, CrossFit Hero Workout. It is 12, nine, six of deadlifts, hang cleans, shoulder to overhead. It's usually 155 for guys, 105 for girls. We are going to do one round of DT with dumbbells, not with a barbell, and um, nowhere near the amount that's prescribed for this workout, but this is a really fun workout. Um, DT, if you've never tried it, I highly recommend it. It was one of my all-time favorites. One of my all-time favorites. I think a little bit of both. Whoa! Okay, hang on. That's good. That's good. It's so funny, like, it's only 10 step ups, five each leg. But I tried to go right, like, go right into the deadlifts. So at that point, after the hanging on the kettlebell, and then hanging on just for this, and hanging on for 12 of these, and then all the way through, grip. The last couple rounds, I was really wishing I had like chalk for a little extra help because my grip, oh my grip strength has been shit ever since I, since this. But it's exactly what I was, what we were looking for. Yeah. Sweating. I lost my forearms. <coughs> my hands. Breathing hard, sweating, muscle fatigue. And got some. Lower, yeah, so that was good. I think that having the row be. We were probably pushing about just around a 400 meter every time we rode. Um, it's good to do stuff like that. Things like that where you're exercising, you're still moving, where you're kind of resting, but you're not killing yourself. That's how you train your body to clear fatigue. That's how you train your body to recover while still working out, while doing something like a lower volume or a lower pace, stuff like that. So, hot bam, hot bam. We're done. We, uh, Gonna put all our stuff away. I'm gonna drink a big old glass of water, clean up, and then let's enjoy the rest of the day, Colby. It's so yeah. nice outside. <sighs> all right, guys, we're done. My mom's here, she's waiting for us to do something, so stay tuned, keep watching. Don't press stop, don't press stop. Watch the ads so you can help me out. I'll see you guys soon.